It's so nice. I did bring my milk frother from home. One little tip tap of the pedal and off I go. A little haul of what we bought. There he is. Did we bring an entire Victoria sponge cake? Yeah, that we did. Well. This is my idea of camping. Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is Steph. If you've been here before, welcome back to, it's not a weekly vlog, it's a weekend vlog this week. And we're actually going away for an early birthday trip. So it's my birthday next week. So we are celebrating a weekend early, having a little road trip. We are heading out to the countryside and I stayed somewhere like this last year for my birthday and it was pure paradise. So it's a company called Unyoked and they have cabins in the woods all over the world and they're little glass cabins with a king size bed, a little sitting area, a kitchen, all in one room and then a bathroom in the middle of nowhere. There's never any phone signal, um, there's nothing to do other than enjoy each other's company and it is just, it was amazing. We were there for two nights last time and we're there for two nights this time. Last time we managed to switch off completely, we played card games on repeat, we cooked delicious food together, we went on a long hike and Lewis and I are hoping to do the same this time as well so I am just getting over the flu and this is the first day that I've started to feel a little bit more human so I do sound a little bit bunged up still but we're gonna load up the car now head on our little road trip and take you with us on our little staycation so let's go uh, okay. what's it like being pressed into prince? I hate it I feel really powerful I am in control what's that what's nice? That nice? <laughs> miles an hour under the speed limit. Do you know how fast this car can go? Watch it move. Can you see? This car goes 0 to 62 in 3.6 seconds. One little tip tap of the pedal and off I go. It says top gear. Yeah it is. We've got a wagon. So we've parked up. Here's our little wagon. I'm so dead. So this is the view from our cabin. There's a nice seated area there where we've got a fire pit. View of some rolling hills. I think tomorrow's supposed to be a nicer day so that view is going to be stunning. And then look, we are literally in the middle of the woods in this stunning, stunning cabin. I am obsessed. And then this is inside. So as you come in, oh, it's so nice. So you've got all of your cooking facilities here. There's like places to hang coats and stuff. Under here there is a little fridge. It is literally identical to the one that we stayed in last year. Yeah, nice. It's just gorgeous. Fridge for all our cold bits, a tap, a sink area, and then obviously a hob that we've got a kettle, saucepan that we can cook everything on. And there's a cute little seating area here. This bed last time was so comfy. It's like king size, like a cloud. We've got a fire. And then there's also a bathroom in here. Let me show you. And in this bathroom, there's a toilet that's like compostable. Did you just wave yourself in the mirror? Yeah, did you? There's a toilet that's compostable, which is an experience, I'll be honest. It goes down and down and down, and then you put sawdust over it whilst you ship, which is a unique experience. And then I remember the shower last time, it was really powerful and went really, really hot. You know that heat that you can like burn yourself? I know that very well. Oh, it was lovely. So we've got a nice little bathroom. This is my idea of camping. If someone says you want to go camping, if it's not this, I'm not going. We're outdoors. We're sleeping well. We've got coffee beans, energizer beans ready to go. And we're going to have fajitas tonight. That is my idea of camping. Oh, I just love it. Look how cosy it is. He's currently unloading stuff in there. I don't think he can see us, but it's so cosy. Right, we are absolutely starving. So we are going to start on dinner. What are we having? Fajitas. Do you fancy Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Should we start with some... I don't know, I need anything right now. I'm really hungry, you yeah. do. Should we start on chips and dips? Just to have a snackette whilst we're prepping? Yes. Okay, you grab the salsa, I'll grab the chips, and then we can start chopping. Did we bring an entire Victoria sponge cake? Yeah, Pepper we did. Blue well. quantity chip, tomato salsa. Mm. It's so good. Yeah. I should have Nice shot, Steph. Thank you. That's a nice shot.
dinner time, we have peppers, onions, tempeh cooked in fajita seasoning, garlic and chilli. We've got a chimichurri, which is parsley and coriander with olive oil, garlic and fresh lime. We've got a little bit of salsa left, but we did go ham on the tortilla chips. Obviously need the Leon aioli. And then we have a whole pack of whole wheat tortillas for a sensational fajita night. Can't forget the avo. We'll just leave her there until we're ready for it. I am obsessed, even with the lights on, it is just, it's so cosy in here. So we are gonna set up, watch a film, wind down the blinds, and we're actually gonna fill up our hot water bottles right now because it is getting a little bit chilly in here. Right, so we have just been out there in the freezing cold um, because, that was so funny. Well, our gas ran out and then um, we didn't know what to do about it. And we went to go and change it over and it wasn't working. And um, all I really wanted was just a nice hot water bottle. I was just like, it's getting a bit chilly in here, like a nice hot water bottle and I'll be I'll be set for the evening. We've got our film set up, we've got chocolate, it's gonna be gorgeous. Anyway, we went out there and we were like, it's red, it's empty. I was so calm. Bearing in mind in this relationship, I am usually, how would you describe me? Fiery. No, from, um... Aggressive. Like a puma. Scatty. Okay, fine. So usually I am the scatty one, and I was so calm, and Lou was so aggressive, weren't oh, you? Not aggressive is the wrong word. No, no, just like, you're never aggressive, like, but like... toys out the pram. <laughs> you were so spoiled. <laughs> and so there's a helpline that you text if ever, like, there is a disaster or whatever, so we were texting them. And they're like, please, can you just go and check to see if they're empty? And he was like, they're empty. I was like, Lou, why don't we... It's an adventure. I was like, why don't we both go <laughs> out and we we'll check to see if they're empty? He was like you stay here, I'm gonna do it, but they're both empty. <laughs> I just heard this call through the window, like, stir. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. He was like, the left one feels full. Anyway, lo and behold, we have gas. Um, and do you know what it was? What? It just, it just didn't turn the screw hard enough. Oh. oh. But anyway, we have come to the conclusion that in our relationship, one person needs to be stubborn or scatty and one person needs to be calm because if we were both calm, nothing would ever get done. And if we, we were both- We would have been cold all night. We would have been cold all night. But anyway, we're back online. We're mm -hmm. boiling up a kettle and it's gonna be A-OK. -okay. okay, so a hot water bottle is made. Lewis is currently in the toilet. We just watched a Matthew McConaughey movie on Lewis's laptop in bed. Eating some delicious chocolate. This is actually the best chocolate ever. Is the label still here? I don't know where I put it. It's the Hue. Here it is. It's the Get Back to Human salty chocolate. It's incredible. I would go as far as saying this is the best chocolate you can get. It's incredible. So we had a bar of that, snuggled and watched a movie, which was so good. It's a movie from 2006. And it, it was just so funny and so feel good and just lovely. And now we're going to snuggle in bed and have a nice early night, not set an alarm in the morning, probably be woken up to the daylight, which is lovely. Uh, we might read our books for a little while as well, so I'm currently reading. I'm still in my Philippa Gregory era. I have been for the last year and I'm obsessed with reading about the Tudors, so currently reading that. Halfway through, I'm proud of myself, and this is literally my dream. This is my dream trip. Just the two of us in like, with simple fun, delicious food, each other's company and just nothing and nowhere nowhere to be, nothing to do. So I'm very excited for tomorrow, which is our full day, where we're hoping to hike and explore a little bit as well. Um, and yeah, we'll see you in the morning. Hello, we have had the dreamiest morning, haven't we, Lou? We have indeed. So we kind of let our bodies wake us up, and that was probably around nine o'clock. And then we had arguably one of the best coffees I think I've ever had. Don't you think? The coffee? Beautiful. So they came with, obviously the beans came here, we ground the beans, put it through the cafetiere, and then Lou made me a frothy little, I did bring my milk frother from home. It was really worth it. So we had frothy little coffees. Then we actually FaceTimed Lou's grandma and his nan to kind of show them the cabin. Lou's got signal and I don't, which has been bliss. So in case of emergencies, we have signal, but I am receiving nothing, which is so nice to completely disconnect. We made a beautiful fry up. So we had some vegan Richmond sausages, some beans, some olive bread, some avocado. Lou made the nicest avocado. It was like smashed avo with loads of lemon and then some fresh chili. So it had a bit of a heat through it, which was lovely. Then we just spent the last half an hour playing cards and now we're actually going to get ready, get dressed and we found maybe like a 5k loop that takes us through the local village. So we might stop there for like a tea or a coffee and then make our way back. Have a really chilled afternoon. It is windy out there. Look. 
it do be windy. I think there's a storm, Kathleen, coming. So we're gonna go get blown away in the storm. Let's go. cabin so we started on our expedition which we were hoping was going to be like a 4k walk 5k walk and then we realized that we were really far away from the start point so it would have taken us 5k to walk to the start point and then do the 5k loop and then walk back so we ended up driving to a little town called Milland was Millhurst Milland. 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 Milland yeah and there was like a community run coffee shop and store with like you know when you go to the countryside or there's like a farmers market and they have like good chutneys it was one of those stores where they just had loads of lovely organic produce and they had a little coffee shop attached to it so we ended up going there and having a nice coffee in there then we did a bit of a walk and then came back and then we actually just left our cabin and turned right and realized that there was this whole walking route on our doorstep so we did that but whilst we were in the farm shop should i do a little haul of what we bought uh yes let me go get it one second so for little snacks now we found these cauliflower crisps which i'm excited to try and also these like farmer salt and vinegar crisps then I've never seen this before, but Plant Powered Goodness Do Goodly Dips. It's a superstar salsa. And we also found a, Mr. Organic is a brand I've seen before, but a black bean and red pepper dip. You can't go wrong with Farmer's Market. Farmer's oh, shop. I just love them. No, not Farmer's, just like local village just, shops. Yeah. You bought yourself a soup, a which niche. I thought was a bit rogue. Um, Are you just going to drink that then? Um, I don't we can, know. We can have that later. Um, we also got dark chocolate, but I didn't see you buy that. You see? Sneaky, I don't remember seeing that. But you got some dark chocolate. We got some yeah. juice, because this morning I thought, do you know what would have been so nice with our breakfast? A nice old juice. And because we're making pasta tonight, we actually ended up buying some olives as a little bit of a snack before. And also, I am really excited to try these. Oh yeah, They're forgot we got them. dark chocolate dipped sour cherries, which I'm very excited to try. But now we're literally sitting outside on this little table and chairs, because although it's windy, there he is, it's very mild. And we're gonna just have some chips and dips and play some cards. Stuff's gonna have her ass whooped in. Right, <laughs> that's not fair, but we're gonna play some cards. Um, basically, Lou started his, we're playing rummy and we scale it, so like we, we, we score it at the end. So if Lou comes up for zero, I have to count how many cards I've got left and stuff. And the last set of games that we played, you were losing. By a long way. By a long way. And then if you get a whole flush, this is how we play it anyway, but if you get a whole flush, so all of the seven cards go from like, I don't know, and he gets a full hand of it, then his score wipes back to zero. And literally just straight before flush. we finished, he got straight flush. And I was like, you little prick. And anyway, you were scoring low as well. I was scoring so low, wasn't I? But yeah, so we're gonna rematch now. Should I talk you through what we've got yeah. for dinner? Okay, so we've got these nice big bowls. It's like proper camping. They're isn't massive it? bowls, it's bigger than your head. Yeah, but that, that was nice. Put it on your head, come on. No, I'm about to eat from it. Um, so, ow! We've done a one pound dish again, and it's whole wheat pasta that I cooked following the packet instructions, and then I drained and just left it in the colander. And then I blended up um, sun dried tomatoes, and then I chopped up some olives, and then I added some of this. Um, Holland and Barrett kale and spinach pesto. Just heated that through with loads of salt and pepper and then added the pasta back. So it's like a tomatoey, olivey pesto pasta. And then, because we didn't have any cheese, um, I've just ground up some almonds uh, with salt, pepper and oregano and a drizzle of olive oil. And it's just gonna add some like nuttiness because this vegan pesto doesn't have nuts in it. It's, to it's, um, it's got tofu, basil and kale. So it's a little bit different um, to usual pesto. So we've gone for some like nutty flavours and textures and it's really freaking delicious if you ask me. Are you excited? Serve it up then. Hello? Let's serve it? it up. Yeah. Sorry, I just I was gonna talk you through it while serving it up. God, oh. these bowls are big, aren't they? Look at that. Can you see it? Mm. Yum. One day people will be able to smell through cameras. I don't think that's gonna be possible. No. Willy Wonka. Big strong boy going in for seconds. Please sir. Have some more. Did you like it? Yeah. What's your favourite thing? I like the nutty dip, the, nu the, dip, the nutty topping. Um, topping. Mm. This is not doing it justice, but can we just take a moment for 
how pretty the sky you can't see how pretty it looks but it's lovely it goes from pink all the way down to orange the plan of action for tonight was to sit outside and in this little fire pit and have a fire and sit outside and stuff i'm feeling a bit chesty in my cough so probably not a good idea it's also got very very windy last time we were in one of these a year ago we got one of these murder mystery cases they're called unsolved case files and you get sent this um let me open it you get sent this um murder mystery file with all of the information that you need to solve it and then basically you're the detective you get like newspaper articles biopsy reports pictures of people like and last time no word of a lie when Lou and i did it we literally sat we read every single article front and back we read everything so in depth we started taking notes and it just wasn't that complicated so lou's not very keen to do this are you <laughs> You don't want to lose another four hours of your life. No. But I feel like we need redemption. Wow, the sky. The sky does look amazing, doesn't it? Oh Imagine how nice this would be like in the summer. Maybe not blazing summer, because it would probably get too hot, wouldn't it? Right, so we sacked off the um, murder mystery, didn't we? Yes. We just, yeah. I think we got PTSD from last time, if I'm honest. I really don't sound very well, do I? No. Yeah, so no. we sacked it off, and we actually ended up just playing cards, which I whooped Lewis's air set. What was my final score? Lewis? Nothing. Clean slate. It smells gassy. Yeah, I'm just making a hot water bottle. So we ended up playing games, uh, playing cards, and then we watched a film. We watched Dodgeball, which I've never seen before. You um, thought you were watching Anchorman. I thought I was watching Anchorman. I was like, when's Will Ferrell in this film? And Lewis was like, never. So I'm going to make myself a hot water bottle, and then we're going to sleep <laughs> and have a nice, lazy morning tomorrow. If she was at love at 8.30. Already done. Do you think that's enough sleep now? Or do you think we need a little bit more no, sleep? Fine. Do you that's think good. nine yeah. would be better? Yeah. Okay, lovely. Well, we're gonna sleep now and we'll see you in the morning. Night night. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you and I, we got it. Well, our little woodland adventure has come to an end. So we packed up all of our things, had a nice slow morning in the cabin. Um, Lou made some sensational coffee. And then we drove through, um, what was the town called? Petworth? Yes. Petworth, it was lovely, wasn't it? Yes. Drove through the, oh, we played cards. And guess who won? Who won, Lewis? I don't want to guess. Yours truly. Me? <laughs> you said it. With flying colors. Mm. Yeah. It was a lovely weekend. We had such a lovely time and I would just recommend it to anyone. Typical, when we were leaving as well, it was like blazing hot sunshine. So I think at one point we, we should do it in the summer. Lovely, lovely weekend. Perfect way to switch off. Perfect way to spend time in good company. And I feel very well rested, do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's a yes. Anyway, so we're signing off and we will speak to you very, very soon. So if you did enjoy this video, please let me know in the comments below. Leave it a cheeky thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. But we will be back next Saturday with another vlog. So lots of love and we will see you soon. Bye.